now I'm going to show you how to enter your own unique program. We're going to hit the start button. We're going to come to the button that says new schedule. And one of the first things we want to do is title it. It's important to give it a nice title that helps you remember exactly what sort of firing schedule you want. Uh, just for the fun of it, I'm going to call this one a soft tack because it will help me remember what sort of look I want on my piece. And again, using a stylus I think makes this a little easier, a little faster. And then I'll hit enter. Um, you can see the name is up in here. Now when I uh, just use this button that says add step, and this part it's just going to walk me through the information. So the first thing it's going to ask me is how fast do I want to go. So I'm going to pick 300 degrees here and enter. Uh, next thing it asks me for is the temperature. So let's go up to 1340. Then it asks us how long we want to hold it. So the, one of the things to remember about the time is it is in, you'll need to put a decimal point for minutes. So we're going to put 0 0.10 for 10 minutes. And then now it's going to ask me if I want an alert for the um, set point temperature. So when it hits the, the 1340, it could set an alarm. Uh, I'm going to say no there. It's going to ask me again if I want one for the hold time. So at the end of the 10 minutes, it would give me an alert. Uh, let's say yes just for that fun. And you can see all the information is right here. I still have an option of editing it. Uh, obviously, I would add more segments, but I think just for you know, brevity, I'm just going to keep this a one segment and we're going to hit the save button. And if we look through here on the right hand side, it will scroll through it. We're going to see our schedules on there somewhere. Right down there at the bottom, soft tack. I would touch that and then I could hit start and then you can see that it's just going to start from there. So again, one of the greatest features of this controller is how easy it is to enter information and program your Firing schedule. In conclusion, this is a very sophisticated controller and it's very easy to use. I mean, I've given you just a brief overview of on the many features that it has, but if you can you know, spend a little time and explore them, I think you're really going to enjoy it. I actually bought one of the first controllers when I saw them on the market and I can tell you that I, I would put one on all my kilns if I could. I think whether you're a beginner or an experienced fuser, you're really going to enjoy all the wonderful features of the Delphi Easy Pro Tap Controller.